With EncryptStick, there are four ways to encrypt your files. Here are your options. Drag and drop, the file menu bar, hotkey, and right click. Once you have inserted your USB flash drive with the registered EncryptStick application, launch EncryptStick and log into the application. For this demo, I will shrink down the window so you can see files on my desktop by clicking in this box in the top right corner. Left click your mouse and hold down the button on the file you wish to drag and drop, then drop it on the vault you want to copy it to. In this case, we've dropped our file testing.doc into the vault named test1. Two boxes will appear. The first box shows you the progress of the file or files being encrypted, which will automatically disappear once the process is completed. The second box asks if you want to remove the original file from your computer. Allow me to explain this a bit. As you can see, here is my empty recycle bin. And here is the file that we are encrypting. If you choose the No option in the dialog box, you will have an encrypted copy of the file accessible within the EncryptStick application, as well as the original file in its original location in an unencrypted format. If you choose the Yes option, you will only have an encrypted copy of the file that is accessible only when you are logged into the EncryptStick application. The original file will be completely wiped or deleted from its original location. We call this our military wipe feature. We will choose Yes for this example. After clicking Yes, a second warning box will appear. Click Yes to permanently remove the original file. Since we chose to permanently delete the original file in this example, you'll see that file has been removed from my desktop and my recycle bin is still empty, thus not leaving a footprint on the host computer. This demonstrates what we call our military wipe feature. Double-click your left mouse button on the Test 1 vault to open the vault. You can now see the document you just dragged and dropped into the Test 1 vault called testing.doc. Double-click your left mouse button on the vault you wish to add files to. For this example, we will choose Test 1. From the menu bar, single-click your left mouse button on File. Then, single-click your left mouse button on Add Files from the sub-menu. This menu will now appear. Navigate to the location of the existing files that you want to encrypt. You can use the Look In drop-down box at the top by clicking on the arrow on the right side of the box or use the navigation window on the left side to browse for your desired file or files. For this example, we will select the desktop from the Look In drop-down box and then single-click our left mouse button on the file we want to encrypt. Note that you have the option to pick multiple files using standard Microsoft Windows functionality. For example, if you hold down the control key and single-click on multiple files, it will highlight them one at a time. Or if you single-click on a file, then hold down the Shift key and single-click another file, it will select the whole range of files. You can also simply double-click on a file to automatically start the encryption process without having to click the Encrypt button. After selecting your files, click on the Encrypt button in the bottom right corner. A box will appear showing the encrypting progress of the file, and then you will be asked if you want to completely remove the original file from your computer. If you say yes, it will be permanently removed and not recoverable. In this example, we will choose no. The encrypted files now show in the vault. This is the Add Files hotkey. If you are not already within a vault, the hotkey will be grayed out and will not function. To enable the button, enter a vault by double-clicking your left mouse button on the vault you want to add files to. You'll now have access to the Add Files hotkey. Single-click your left mouse button on the hotkey to start the process. This File Select box will now appear. Navigate to the location of the files that you want to encrypt. For this example, we will select the desktop from the Look In drop-down box and then single-click our left mouse button on adfasdf.txt. Once you have selected your files, click on the Encrypt button in the bottom right corner. 
a box will appear showing the encrypting progress of the file and then you will be asked if you want to completely remove the original file from your computer. If you say yes, it will be permanently removed and not recoverable. In this example, we will choose No. The encrypted file now shows in the vault. From within a vault, simply single-click your right mouse button in an open area in this pane to display the submenu. Then, single-click your left mouse button on Add Files. This menu will now appear. From here, navigate to the area where the existing files are located that you wish to encrypt. For this example, we will select the desktop from the Look In drop-down box and then single-click our left mouse button on adfasdf.txt. Once you have selected your files, click on the Encrypt button in the bottom right corner. You will then see the encryption progress bar as well as the dialog box asking if you want to completely remove the files from your computer. If you say yes, they will be permanently removed and not recoverable. In this example, we will choose No. The encrypted files now show in the vault. There are two ways to decrypt files using EncryptStick. The first is the drag and drop method. Navigate to the vault that contains the files you wish to decrypt. In this case, we are going to open the Test 1 vault. Double-click your left mouse button to open the vault. Single-click your left mouse button on the file you wish to decrypt and hold the left mouse button down while dragging the files to where you would like them to be decrypted to on your computer. For this example, I will drag them to my desktop. The decrypted files will appear in the location you chose once the decryption process has finished and you can now see the files on my desktop. The second way to decrypt files can be found in the file menu located on the menu bar. To begin, you must first open the vault that contains the files you wish to decrypt and then highlight the file or files you wish to decrypt. Then, single-click your left mouse button on File in the menu bar. Single-click your left mouse button on Decrypt from the submenu that appears. Next, single-click your left mouse button on the folder you wish to send the decrypted file to. In this example, we will choose the desktop. Then, single-click your left mouse button on the OK button. The dialog box on the right will show once the operation is complete, and you will now see the file on your desktop. Single-click your left mouse button on the OK button to complete the decryption process. The decrypted files will appear in your chosen location once the decryption process has finished. This concludes our tutorial on encrypting and decrypting files with the EncryptStick application.